morning, good morning, good morning. How is everyone? I hope great. I'm great. You're great. We're all great. A couple of things. <clears throat> um, I've I've kind of reached my tolerance with um, with the experience that our rhinos are receiving in terms of email reliability. Um, it, it's, it's just, it hasn't been good, right? So we've emailed everyone multiple times and sometimes someone gets the email today, but sometimes they get it tomorrow and some support needed. Thanks, Jack. Sometimes they'll get it later in the day and so forth and so forth. Sometimes they just won't get it at all. Sometimes they'll bounce. And so I, I called the, an executive meeting with Salesforce yesterday. And this is no commentary on them because I really, I cannot express to you enough that Salesforce is best in show. Their capability is beyond, uh, beyond anyone else's. Like they are the best. That doesn't mean that we're as pleased as can be. In fact, it's like when your teacher, when you were young, is just harping on you and harping on you. And you're like, why are you harping on me? They're like, because I believe in you. I know you can do better. Um, that's how I feel with Salesforce right now. So I harped on them and harped on them and harped on them. And the solution we came up with is we're no longer sharing a server with anyone else. In fact, Salesforce is making a special Rhino server. It's just Rhino going forward. What that means, and, and by going forward, I mean like in a week, like we have the server, now we got to migrate everything over with the least amount of friction uh, for you. Um, there is a warm up period, so there might be some emails. We, I think we could start with like 10,000 emails a day and then warm up, rev up. As of now, we have 8,800 that open our emails. Um, and of course, some are some days and some are other days. So I think if you took, if you took all the number of people that open up, have opened up our email the last seven days and added them all up together, you'd probably get around like 11,000. Um, so we, we will start our warm up with that number. If it's, if it's 11,000 and Salesforce says, well, best practice is 10,000. Well, sorry, Salesforce, uh, best practice for Rhino is now 11,000. So nobody will have any type of friction or, or disturbment because everyone's already had it, right? But what, what makes that so cool is like Yahoo has a server. They're a big server company, right? Like, so you could have email fred at yahoo.com. So this does open the door, not now, because God knows we have zero bandwidth to do this now. But it does open the door that with success, we will start offering email service, meaning you can have a Fred at rhinostreet.com. Um, of course, that's going to be a slow rollout. We can't just go ahead and offer millions. But the goal has always been to migrate everyone over to Rhino Street. And if you were migrated over and it was your email as well, and it was your browser, and it was, uh, you see where we're going with this. So that door is now firmly open. I want to share that with you. Um, and I want to thank everyone that has endured our uh, email deliverability issues. Um, and like I was speaking to Terry yesterday, I actually emailed him back the, um, the service contract with Salesforce, just to show that when you talk to me and when you share experience, it doesn't go through one ear and out the other. I don't have a problem with my email because I don't email myself, right? Like I write the email. Therefore, I don't see I, I as a one person don't see any 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 challenges to solve but because you share it with me and make sure that I'm aware of it I have always committed to you that I will always go ahead and solve those issues and we're now going to have our own server so that's pretty cool um last night I wrote an email to those that have opened up accounts but yet have yet to have selected a plan um I was I was fairly persuasive and of the 113 we emailed, actually of the 120, um, 10 did go ahead and select a plan. Those 10 are the 10 new members, well not new members, but the new plans that are on our email today. So we're now up to 238. I do wanna offer a little commentary because one could very quickly glance at it and say, oh my God, you're down $2,000 over your next seven days. Look at your, look at your, um, your average plan, it keeps going down. 
that's always been the goal. Um, so if you rewind this to maybe like five, six days ago, we said that an average plan over $50 is not okay. We cannot have an average plan over $50 because first of all, $50 a week to contribute to something, really anything, but especially something that's of the investment, um, of the investment universe. Like we're very sure of what we're going to do, but until we do it, we're just, we're investing our time and resources as you are investing your time and resources all collectively to write up. So it is in the investment universe. That being said, when we took a look at how that 50 was uh, calculated, we had many $500 plans and many $100 plans and many people saying, hey, listen, do me the favor. Let me just buy 500 one shot. Let me buy $100 one shot. And what ended up be, uh, uh, as a result is that when those cease, right? Like when the person that's at 500 says, okay, I, I was at 500, I, I can't afford 500, but I want to get in for the bonus. Let me come down to 100. Well, if we ran around in circles congratulating ourselves and saying, hey, this is absolutely amazing. Jack, can you please stop posting that link in our chats? Like I, I, I did talk to Jack, he's a nice guy. Um, there is a line between um, being supportive and which I, I, I didn't say anything the first time you posted it. Um, yeah, yeah, but my, um, this time is not uh, for you to promote, right? So that's what that is. Um, so if you do it again, I'm going to remove you. Anyway, but I love you. We were just on the phone. So I just want to make sure that's very clear. Thank you. Oh, because he's posting it to me. All right, anyway, we only have three minutes left. So what ended up happening was when those large purchases come down, what happens to everyone else? Well, the average price comes down to 29, 25, 27, which goes ahead and shows you that that was not the correct average real plan. It was kind of an inflated one. And we've always said that the correct average plan is around 20 to $25. And that our goal was to go ahead and lower that average plan price to that number. Now, how do you lower it to that number? So our efforts have been, okay, if we want a lower number, we need to go ahead and increase the uh, beginner level, right? So if you have 200 people at a $50 level and you wanna bring it down to say a $33 level, you have to bring in 100 people at zero, but let's just say at one, right? So that it averages out to 33. So what we've done since then, I believe that was at 196 members, we have gone ahead and welcomed uh, 30, 42, I believe the math comes out to, 42 new members. Now of those new members, and you might be one of them, we said, hey, listen, just get in, start at a dollar. If you don't like us, we'll simply part as friends. No problem, um, no, no hard feelings. Now, of course, we don't want anyone to stay at a dollar because A, it's a discredit to you, uh, you know, say we go ahead and accomplish this big feat that we would like to accomplish that we know we're going to accomplish and you were in it for a dollar the whole time. You're going to say, great, my dollar turned into a thousand dollars. yip de doo um, But if I had the sense to be in at like ten dollars a week, uh, my life would be much different. So it's not it's, it's not noble of us to be afraid or not have the courage to tell you what we believe is best for you on the off chance that mentioning money is something that people shy away from, right? Like my mother always said, I remember there was this girl I really, really liked, she was super, super pretty. And my mother said, did you ask her out? And I said, no, she goes, the worst she could say is no, just be respectful and be a good guy. And she said, yes, right? So that's how I look at money when it comes to these plans. Now, now that we have a C of $1, so I think we have like $81 plans and actually I have the numbers right here. We have 66 $1 plans, 18 $5 plans, and 59 $10 plans. That means we have, I don't know, what's that come out to? Like 120 at a, at $10 or less. Well, if we move up the 66 $1 to $5, well, that's 66 times four, right? That comes out to, let's say 240 between friends, $240 per week in Rhino purchases. What if we move the five to 10s? What if the 10s move up to 15? As you can see, the numbers start getting quite large. The point is, the goal is always the more members equals the more awareness equals the more potential. 
I don't need for us to be at 50,000 per week today, but would I like say 20,000 people at a dollar over 30,000 people at $10 or no over 15,000 people at $10? Absolutely. Because the $1 have potential. They got in there, they're, they're fair. They're taking a look around and we're always gonna offer the same experience to everyone. Uh, it's about 10, 10, I must run by absolute commitment that these will only be 10 minutes. If you did not read our email today, you really should. Um, and actually I'll speak more on it tomorrow. Um, I was going to read the email out loud. Um, it's important. And just to let you know that email started at 15 pages. I've been up since three this morning. Well, I wrote the 15 pages yesterday, then I've been up since three this morning, consolidating it down to those eight paragraphs. It is the most powerful email I have ever written. And it is the most bold or most forward email I think you've ever read. Um, I don't want to say the following sentence, but it'd be, I'd be remiss if I didn't. I'm going to be right. So, Ask yourself in a world where that email is a forecast, what are you going to do? That's right. I love everyone. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.